Good job. Good job. Yeah. <laughs> Welcome back to our channel. So today I'm going to tell you guys Cruz's 10 month update. Say yeah, I'm 10 months. Mm. With this tongue of yours. What are you doing with this tongue? Put it back in. So a lot has happened this past month with Cruz's milestones, but also with the entire world, this pandemic that's going on. So it's definitely been crazy in this household. I'm so happy that I've had a chance right now to sit down and make this video for you guys about Cruz's 10 month update. Cruz is a huge, huge busybody now. I might have to put him down for this video. Usually with these monthly update videos, I hold him the entire time. But he literally just wants to be on the floor crawling and get into everything. So, yeah, I don't know if this is going to work this time. <laughs> I don't think it's going to work this time. Put that tongue in. Oh my gosh. Okay, guys, so Cruz is going to come back later. He has to play around. Oh, man. Okay, so for this update, there was no doctor's appointment. His next doctor's appointment is when he's one years old. On his last appointment, he's about 22 pounds and 12 ounces. So I'm guessing right now he's around 23 pounds. He still wears 12 month and 18 month clothing. He's still in size five diapers. So not much has changed these past months. Something new that he got are some more teeth. Now he has six teeth. It's just crazy how fast his teeth have grown in. If you guys been following me this with these monthly updates, you would know just two months ago he just got his first tooth and now he has six. So we're still breastfeeding, 10 months breastfeeding. I'm so happy about that, but things have changed a little bit because now that he has these six teeth, like he's like experimenting with them. So he has been biting me and it has been painful. So I'm just like, I tell him no every time he does bite down and he only does it at the end of the feeding so I kind of know when he's about to do it but then he still surprises me and then he bites down and I'm like no no and then he'll look at me like did you just tell me no he has an attitude problem he'll look at me like I can do whatever I want these are mine and then once I tell him no he pulls off <laughs> Once I'm telling no, he pulls off. He literally pushes me away and just crawls away. Like, all right, I got what I wanted. I wanted my milk. Now I can go away and go about my business. So sometimes I'll be feeling used. I'm like, this used to be our time, our special bonding time, nursing, looking into each other's eyes, you know? Now he just nurses and bites and pushes me away. Sometimes that hurts me a little bit, but I love how much he's grown, how independent he's been, his personality, like I see it every single day. So besides breastfeeding, he still eats everything, straight solid foods, not so much purees besides like the Gerber pouches that we give him for snack. But seriously, this boy eats, he eats so much. He eats more than my daughter Mackenzie, who's four years old. He eats a lot. Sometimes she'll eat a little bit and then she don't want any more. So I just give it to Purees and he'll just tear it up. Is it good? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you eat everything. And when we are making his food, he gets so angry in that high chair, like <laughs> banging on the high chair, the table, wanting us to be faster. I'm just like, boy, calm down. Like, he is serious about his food. I forgot to mention last month that I started with a straw cup now instead of giving the sippy cup that I showed in my previous video. So I switched to a straw cup and it's by Munchkin. He could tilt it any way and it'll still flow. So I really, really like that. He's playing on the slide. This video is crazy because he's so busy. Cruz, hey, can you be quiet a little bit? Thank you. So, if you mamas are interested in trying out a straw cup, you know, transitioning them slowly off the bottle. Cruz only had a bottle when he's staying over a relative's house. He still takes a bottle if I was to go out, but since we're all quarantined, 
I'm just nursing. As I keep mentioning, this boy is a busy body. He is crawling a lot faster. His new favorite thing is picking up his toys in the playpen and throwing it out. So he just throws out everything and thinks it's so funny. And he throws really far. I know Darius really wants him to learn how to play baseball. And I really think that might be it because this boy throws so far. So last month I mentioned how he hates being changed, you know, hates the car seat. And it's gotten a lot worse. I didn't think it could get worse. Just me being near the dresser because that's where the changing pad is at and I'll just like do like this tilt a little bit and he'll just start ah! He just hates being changed. Diaper changes, putting on clothes. He just always wants to stand up, always wants to stand up. So it's so, so difficult to change his diaper. It's so difficult to put his clothes on. It's even difficult to give him a bath now. Now he just wants to stand. So he kind of graduated from his baby bathtub. And I, sometimes I put him in there. He really likes to be in the big bathtub. I really need to get like a mat. So he don't be slipping and sliding everywhere because it can get really, really scary. He hates getting his hair washed. Like, so much has changed. Basically, he just wants to be free, as you guys see still. Okay, now you want to go back down. He still loves bath time. It's just harder for me because he just always wants to stand up. So I just really need to get, like, a suction bath mat for my bathtub. I've been doing so much research. A lot of bath mats have mixed reviews because some say they stick well. And then some say they don't stick well because they have, like, a textured bottom to their bathtub. And I think that's what I have. So I don't know what kind of bath mat I need. If you guys have any suggestions on what bath mat I should try for my bathtub my bathtub on the bottom is kind of textured so please leave some options down below because i am in need of a good bath mat so he don't be slipping and sliding everywhere so his new favorite thing he finally loves a show i've been trying out different shows for him to watch you know trying to figure out what his first birthday theme is going to be and he loves sesame street he gets so excited about sesame street so that's one thing that i can put on and he'll be like this getting all excited, waves his hands. He gets really excited when they sing like the letter of the day or the number of the day and of course the theme song. So he loves the music of the show. So he also loves playing in the car. Since we've been quarantined, sometimes we just, just to change scenery, we'll literally sit in our cars and just listen to music, just to sit in there that's like one of Cruz's favorite things to do like so Darius will be sitting in the driver's seat and Cruz will be on top Cruz will be holding the steering wheel acting like he's driving and then he'll turn up the music like he acts like a legit grown-up in the car and I'm just like who are you he'll look like uh-uh I need to put this music up louder and starts touching it and it makes it go louder and he's like okay and he puts his hand on the steering wheel look over oh, it's so funny I think I have a video so So with talking, he still says dada all the time. Always says dada. He didn't say mama again. He just yells a lot and just like, yeah, yeah, you know. But still, dada is the main word. So last month, he started to pull himself up. And then this month, now he's starting to like let go and tries to stand on his own. And today, he stood up for about five seconds by himself. Like, he was just like standing there. So he knows when he's doing it that he gets praise. So like when he does it, he gets excited. Like, yeah, I did it. And then if he falls, he'll get back up and like look at you like look at me look at me It's so cute how he knows that he's doing a good job and like wants praise and stuff like that Like good job cool you're standing up you're standing up and he'll get so excited So with that being said, I'm sure he's gonna start to try to walk soon I don't know ever seems like every month he's getting stronger and getting braver I know last month he was too scared to like try to stand on his own but Literally every day I, could, I see him like practicing. Like he's like, I'm gonna try this out. And I'll just watch him from the corner and he'll like try to do it a little bit. And if I, if he sees me looking, he'll like hold on. Like, um, oh, I'm just trying this out. Like he gets to look a little embarrassed. But then sometimes he's just like, I got it, I got it. I know he can't talk, but that's what I sense he's saying. He also waves hi and bye. So I'm like say hi, say bye. And then he'll wave. He's been getting a lot better with that. Like I said earlier, how he throws stuff out of his playpen. He's also been getting a lot better with his basketball toy. It's like a VTEC Sports Center toy. I'll leave a picture right here. But it has like a basketball hoop. So we've been trying to show him, you know, pick up the ball and put the ball in the hoop. And he actually has been doing it. So he's been understanding us. We'll tell him like, you know, give me your cup or give me your boa, his pacifier. And he'll actually do it. So he's been learning how to play basketball, putting the ball in the hoop. So his new thing is with his pacifier. It seems like he's 
not so much interested in it anymore. He used to love it, especially for sleeping time. Mostly the only time we really give it to him is during nap time or if he's in the car seat because he hates the car seat. So sometimes we give it to him then, but most times he just like plays with it. You're hurting me. But I definitely do give it at nighttime when I rock him to sleep. So I usually nurse him a little bit, rock him in this rocking chair, and then once he stops eating, I'll give him the passy. But now, lately with his naps, it's been kind of weird and off schedule, but then like I feel like all of our lives are off schedule because of this whole coronavirus thing going on. So it definitely affected our household with scheduling, sleeping in general. Like he's just been like more awake and more active. So when it's time for a nap and he knows his nap time, I usually be able to like nurse him, rock him and he'll go to sleep. Now I'll nurse him and he'll just pop off, look at me in the face and laugh. Or I'll try to put the pacifier in his mouth, he'll put it in his mouth, take it out and shoves it in my mouth. He's just like a huge silly boy, thinks everything is so funny, pulling my hair, smacking me, you know, doing all these things when he's supposed to be taking a nap. A lot of times I have to put him in the crib and let him cry a little bit and then I come back and rock him a little bit and then he goes to sleep or sometimes even when he's wide awake I lay him down and then he'll go to sleep on his own so it's always a 50 50 chance he's either gonna cry or he's gonna put himself to sleep on his own ow say hi hey I'm happy I just ate again like he literally just ate dinner guys he had green beans he had some snacks he had an apple he had a banana he eats so much and then he's still just nursed so i've been trying to teach him how to clean up if we have like a basket and put in like blocks away or something like that and he'll pick it up to like put it in his mouth but I'm like oh try to put it in here put it in here so he's slowly been learning to do that but a lot of times he's just like uh no i want to chew on this i'm gonna crawl away with it get the ice cream here put it in here clean up Good job. Put it inside. Really? Cruz, help me clean up. You were just helping me. Come back. So that pretty much sums up Cruz's 10 month update. I can't believe in two short months, I'm gonna have a one year old already. Like this time is flying by, just like I say in every video. It kind of breaks my heart that I can't go all in and plan a big birthday party for him. Since this quarantine is happening, Virginia, they require us to stay at home until about June 10th, June 12th, I believe. And his birthday is May 30th. And I was thinking, I was just like, man, his birthday is on a Saturday. Like that's like the perfect party day. And I've been planning his birthday in my head. Once I figured out what theme I was gonna do, I'm going to do Sesame Street, but I can't go all out like I want to do. I went all out for my daughter's first birthday. So I wanted to give him the same kind of big party. And of course at one years old, they don't really remember. It's still a special moment. We are planning to do like a small party in here, just literally us four as a family of four of course i did his 10 month photo shoot and that was the hardest photo shoot i ever had to do to date because how active he's been like i said throughout this whole video i literally had to give him a snack half sesame street on in the background for him to lay down and take that blanket milestone picture so check out these 10 month pictures hope you guys enjoyed this video please give this video a thumbs up comment down below and make sure you guys subscribe and we'll see you again next time right